going on guys welcome back to video number 56 and let's get let's keep this going with our form validation so I don't want you guys to do anything in this video I just want you guys to kind of follow along with what I'm talking about so you guys can better understand it so again in the last video we are dealing or the last couple of videos we've been dealing with form validation and if you look right here we just tested our menu with an if statement not an if else statement well it might be an if else statement but as of now we're just testing to see if this is set of our category if our category field was set or if it was empty and if it is one or the other we're going to execute something and it's going to collect our errors keep it in an array up here now we could do this again don't do anything just follow along we could do this two more times copy paste and I could just substitute in what do we have um, position for position right here position right here as well as position right here and then I go ahead and copy and paste again and right here I could fill in visible visible or visible right here because again like uh, where am I gonna go all the way back to right there because again, we want to, okay, I mean, we in our last couple of videos when we redirected our page, um, our form right now isn't stringent at all. All it really does is just redirects us back to our new underscore info.php page, even though that the value is getting collected on our database. So if you do go to your local host and you go to PHP My Admin, that will show up. So again, we want to have a form that's as stringent as, I don't know, we'll say Facebook. So say we're on Facebook and we want to sign up and it's got all these category fields right here. It's trying to grab information to put it on its database and say we just want to type in our first name. I'll type in Josh, sign up. Right down here it lets us know you must fill in all of the fields. So that's kind of what we're trying to replicate. So in the next video let's go ahead and create, create more tests for our, what was it, it was position and visible category fields and for that I'm not I could do it one two three just how I had it set up but I'm gonna go ahead and do it with a for each loop just to kinda consolidate the code and do it in as less lines as possible so hopefully you guys are following along and uh, your code looks like this and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video